Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles, Foundation for Inner Peace, 3rd Edition. And we are picking up on Chapter 11, God or the Ego, Section 6, Waking to Redemption. And hopefully my puppy will settle down. She follows me everywhere. <laughs> so this is Paragraph 6 through 10 of Chapter 11, God or the Ego, Section 6, Waking to to redemption. Resurrection must compel your allegiance gladly because it is the symbol of joy. Its whole compelling power lies in the fact that it represents what you want to be. The freedom to leave behind everything that hurts you and humbles you and frightens you cannot be thrust upon you but it can be offered you through the grace of God. And you can accept it by his grace, for God is gracious to his son, accepting him without question as his own. Who then is your own? The Father has given you all that is his, and he himself is yours with them. Guard them in their resurrection, for otherwise you will not awake in God, safely surrounded by what is yours forever. You will not find peace until you have removed the nails from the hands of God's Son and taken the last thorn from his forehead. The love of God surrounds his son, whom the God of crucifixion condemns. Teach not that I died in vain. Teach rather that I did not die by demonstrating that I live in you. For the undoing of the crucifixion of God's son is the work of the redemption, in which everyone has a part of equal value. God does not judge his guiltless son. Having given himself to him, how could it be otherwise? You have nailed yourself to a cross and placed a crown of thorns upon your own head. Yet you cannot crucify God's son, for the will of God cannot die. His son has been redeemed from his own crucifixion, and you cannot assign to death whom God has given eternal life. The dream of crucifixion still lies heavy on your eyes, but what you see in dreams is not reality. While you perceive the Son of God is crucified, you are asleep. And as long as you believe that you can crucify him, you are only having nightmares. You who are beginning to wake are still aware of dreams and have not yet forgotten them. The forgetting of dreams and the awareness of Christ come with the awakening of others to share your redemption. You will awaken to your own call, for the call to awake is within you. If I live in you, you are awake. Yet you must see the works I do through you, or you will not perceive that I have done them unto you. Do not set limits on what you believe I can do through you, or you will not accept what I can do for you. Yet it is done already. And unless you give all that you have received, you will not know that your Redeemer liveth and that you have awakened with him. Redemption is recognized only by sharing it. God's Son is saved. Bring only this awareness to the sonship and you will have a part in the redemption as valuable as mine. For your part must be like mine if you learn it of me. If you believe that yours is limited, you are limiting mine. There is no order of difficulty in miracles because all of God's sons are of equal value and their equality is their oneness. The whole power of God is in every part of him, and nothing contradictory to his will is either great or small. What does not exist has no size and no measure. To God all things are possible, and to Christ it is given to be like the Father. 
And that is the conclusion of Section 6, Waking to Redemption, in Chapter 11. I will record a meditation on Lesson 122 separately if you would like to join. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.